Hello guys and welcome back. We're out, yes. And the sun is shining on us. What is going wrong? I don't feel, I feel, oh, I don't know. Roy, the sun's out, mate. Yeah, it's jumping rain. It's not <laughs> raining, yeah, or snowing. Wow, so, where are we today? Where are we today, Roy? Langford Lee. A Langford Lee Valley. And we're going up to Langford Hope, which is in between oh, the Cheviot and the Hedge Hope Hill. I'll just let Brian get this gate. Um, and we're out again, like we normally are, for a cheeky overnighter. After a long, long week at work. And we need this. Knee. I'm breathing already. I'm breathing out of my hoop. Um, yeah, so we need a bit of a, a come down from a long busy week. Uh, the weather, oh, they did say it's just gonna be cloudy as we was driving up. The chief, it was in clag. Um, but I'm looking at Hedge Hope at the moment and the sun, as you can see on my eyes, the sun is just glaring down from the top of Hedge Hope and it's lovely. I've got this, uh, I've got this top on and it's a bit warm, but we haven't got far to go. Um, it's just a little place. Not a lot of people know about it. Uh, and it's nice. And it's right next to a um, Heart Burn, Burn, Heart, sorry, Heart Hope Burn, which is just down there on my left. So we'll be camping right next to that. But um, yeah, oh. We're back and we're refreshed from our visit to Scotland and Ben Nevis. What a palaver that was. We had a great time, don't get me wrong, staying in the travel lodge and um, going up to Ben Nevis. But again, the weather wasn't on our side and you know, it was, it was that cold. The GoPro kept switching off. I got a bit frustrated at the top because I couldn't get the footage that I wanted to to put in the video, but hopefully you enjoyed that one, which was last week. Uh, you enjoy that one? Yeah, it was a good one. It was a bit of a struggle at getting to the top, but I enjoyed it. It was cold, wet, extremely windy. Now we're had, heading up this valley, uh, and I did want to do some footage down the bottom where we parked the car with a drone. But again, the wind is being funneled down this valley and uh, it's way over the limit for a, a dry drone to be flown. If I put it up now, it would just whoosh, disappear out to the North Sea, I think. But 
we'll see what it's like when we get a bit further up and it's sheltered so guys come along like the video we're just out for a laugh and a relax as normal thank you for all the subscribers thank you for all the likes please if you don't like the video just give us a thumbs up anyway before you switch off i want to try and get the maximum on this video likes as i possibly can uh you know i get on average 250 on a good video 400 views which i really appreciate but the thumbs up i'm not getting and it does a lot for the channel so if you could just take your time and click that thumbs up what i gotta do bro click the thumbs up click the thumbs up really really would appreciate it like i said when i get to a thousand subscribers i'm giving a tent away so if you're not subscribed and it doesn't cost you anything it really doesn't cost you anything you just hit that subscribe button and you'll get to see the videos that we put out i'm trying to get as many camps out as possibly as much as we can this year because we said we're going to go for it didn't we yeah what did i say we're thinking about doing in the car camping on all the island no no snowdonia all oh, right yeah, go, on. Yeah. go down to snowdonia yeah. I and mean, that's brian done all the peaks and all the countries and you never know we might even have a trip over to northern ireland and do the Mourne mountains and the Isle of Man. So, like I said, guys, give us a like, and it will make Brian's day, the grumpy old man, and it will make my day. Right, onwards and upwards, let's find this camp spot, let's get set up. Here we are. I promised Brian El Dorado. Have I delivered? You've delivered. I've delivered. Fantastic. So let me just take you back here. As you can see, we are in a bowl, high ground all around us. The sun is directly there and we've got a beautiful waterfall here. Brian has decided that he wants to camp on this ledge. I'm going to camp just here. But look at this, guys. Soothing water to make us go to sleep tonight. Babbling waterfall and brook. I think if it's a little bit warmer, you'd go swimming, wouldn't you? Oh, if it's been red off day there, I'd have a cuddle in there. Brian would do his Timothy advert. So look at that. Can't get any better. And it's also protecting us from that wind that's coming down the valley. Oh, I'm really chuffed with this. So, like I said, I'm going to set up there. It's a slight slope, but that'll be fine. And Brian's got a good spot here. A yeah, right. little bit undulating, but once he gets his roll mat up, it will be uh, quite comfortable. Um, the wind is swirling around, but it feels nice. And look, sun. <laughs> sun what is this we don't get to see sun on north face wanderers channel and in that direction 
is where the sun will rise. So I'm pleased. I'm really pleased. Yeah, fantastic. And if I look carefully, it looks like there's another waterfall just past that one. Just make it out in there. So, have a quick drink. Then I think it's time to get the tents up. That's me, that's Brian. Look at him, he looks like a little Oompa Loompa from Charlie and the Chocolate Factory. Brian! Hi. Are you all set up? Yeah. You gonna take us through your crib? Okay. Your crib? My crib. Yeah. So what are you rocking? What sleeping bag are you rocking? Yeah, it's a Levine, sir. A Levine fun what? Oh. OX, isn't it? Evolution. OEX. OEX, yeah? yeah. Warm? Yeah, it's lovely and warm. That's lovely and toasty, though. Thank you, right. Lovely and toasty. Hilly Yeah. Green spot. Green spot. Don't know what that's for. <laughs> We've just been up there, and the wind is really, really strong. Um, I'll take up my wind meter later on just to measure it. But down here, so sheltered. Look at this. That will be a haven in the summer. Get in there, have a swim around. Beautiful. Probably be a nightmare in the winter. There's a fast flowing water. Uh, and here's me. It does look like I'm on a bit of a tilt, but I've been in there and I've done the lay down test. Uh, and it's, it's perfect. Um, so here's my crib. <laughs> look how close I am to the edge. But that soothing sound of water is going to just send me off to sleep tonight. Right, Brian, aka Grumpy Old Man, you've been asked to give another shout out. Are you up to giving a shout out? Do I have to? Well, he has asked. Well, the shout out's for Big Mike. So, can you give him a, a shout out, please? Big Mike. Big Mike. I don't think he's so big. I think he's only got a little one of them, so he can piss off. Oh, so, we're nice and settled in now. The sun's gone down. That's the only thing with this uh, location. Unless the sun's at its zenith, i.e. right above you, you're not going to get much sun. It must be a nightmare in the summer though when it's, it's really hot because this place is probably full of midges. There he is, look, sat in me trekology chair. You comfortable? Isn't that nice? Good. It's a good chair, isn't it? Yeah, it's good. good chair. I can't remember how much that I bought that for, but it's lightweight. You know, you get lighter ones like the one that I did in the video at Ross Castle. I'll put a link in the uh, description for that one. Uh, but yeah, it's so comfortable, like some people. You carry the chair and someone else sits in it. Woo! <laughs> so the sun's gone down and it's got a bit chilly. That's why we've got the old puffer jacket on. And we decided to have a beer. And my beer of choice today is Dirty Deeds. Dirty Deeds, New England IPA, 6.6% volume. Uh, never had it before, so let's try it. Brian's brought the boring old Carlsberg again. Okay, this has been chilling in the river. Ugh. It's just frothed up all over the place. Okay. Let's try it. Nice. Nice beer. And I'm just sat here, looking at that.
we have it. Steak, mushrooms and asparagus. Yum yum. That's going straight into my tum. Oh, he's trying to get away. Good morning guys, it's the morning after the night before. Wow, what a sleep. Did you have a good sleep, Brian? Yeah, good one. Good. So, um, it's about seven o'clock. There's a, looks like it's a bit of a sunrise over there, but not too good. I'm gonna go to the top of the hill and have a look, but wow, what a lovely place to sleep last night. Really warm. And I'll tell you now, we're experiencing our first midges of the year. It must be that mild and where there's no wind down here, the midges have come out. So uh, yeah, they're flying around. So midge warning. It must be a nightmare here in the summer. It must be lovely, but a nightmare. So um, it was that hot last night. Obviously, you saw the sleeping bag I was in. Um, I had to have my this jacket off and uh, my arms outside. And I woke up a couple of times sweating, so that's why I'm um, thinking about changing my sleeping bag for the next camp. Oh, I've got morning head at the moment. So Brian's just getting the kettle on. Uh, we're gonna have some breakfast and then slowly pack up and get out of here. <clears throat> but what a wonderful place to camp. Didn't really get to see any stars last night, unfortunately. You wouldn't really get much because you're in this like little bowl, but brilliant place to camp. Don't know why I haven't come here sooner. So I'm gonna go up there and have a look, see what I can see. There we are. The sun is going to rise over there behind that hill. Um, as you can see, it's starting to go slightly grey pink. But what a place to come to. Honestly, it's lovely. Um, I don't think I'm going to put the grid. I'm not going to tell you where it is, guys. If you can work it out, then good for you. And then come up here, but don't ruin it. Like I said, this is one of the only places that we've probably been to that there isn't any um, fire pit scarring, which is fantastic. Someone has has a fire up here because we found some burnt wood, but it's not far to walk from the car. Um, the only problem being is because it's enclosed, you don't get many views, but I can live with that. I can hear the river or the barren in the background. I can hear the grouse and that's it. That wind's dropped down so I might be able to get the drone up. Other than that, hopefully Brian's got the kettle on. It's the perfect time for a cup of tea. So that's us all packed away. There's my kit. There's Brian's kit. There's Brian in his nice new top. By Mountain Equipment. A big shout out for Mountain Equipment for providing Brian that lovely new top. He won't get lost in a bloody <laughs> fog. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, that's where I was sleeping. Not a bad pitch. It does slope down slightly. It does slope down slightly going that way, but uh, head descend, so good sleep. Brian's pitch, what was it like, Bry? It was all right once I got sorted and got the backside in that road. Yeah. No rubbish. What do we do? Leave no trace. Leave no trace. This boy is learning, he's good. So, we're going to move off. I'll leave you with a last look on the waterfall. The water has dropped, it's not as uh, fast. But there you go. If you know where we are, all right, I'm not going to put the grid in. I'm going to keep this one a secret, but I know there's a lot of people that know where it is. Let's keep it like this, guys. We don't need any burn pits over here, do we, Bry? No, it just spoil it. Don't think I'll come here in the summer, though, because I think it's going to be covered in midges. Uh, but yeah, fantastic place. Should we move? Yep, let's get Kit on, there. let's go. Back to the car. There we go, one last look.
lovely little pitch. Right, onwards and upwards, or downwards, whatever you want to say. Right, that's us back in the car park and it seems to be a pretty full car park. Well, I think what we've got out is uh, Mountain Rescue with their um, search and tracker dogs and they're on a bit of an exercise. So it's quite interesting to watch that. But other than that, we're back at the car and that's the camp finished. I hope that you enjoyed it. If you did, go on, give us a like, smash that like button. Go on, you know you want to, don't they, Bri? Yeah, you really want to. Go on, what do they got to do? S smash that button. Smash that button. So. We're going to get out of here. We might have a fat boy's breakfast. We might not. Um, until the next one, thanks for watching, guys. And if you've got anything, any comments or anything, leave them down below. And we will see you on the next one. Take care. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.